How a divorcing spouse can spy on you using your iPhone. Divorce can motivate some people to stalk and spy on their spouse's iPhones. Understand, Android smartphones are not immune to this. Similar spying tactics apply. To protect your privacy, change every password for every bank account, internet account, credit card, and email account you have. We cannot stress this enough. Change them all. If you have an iPhone, start with changing your Apple ID password immediately. Why worry about phone security? It's important to maintain your privacy during the divorce. Protecting confidential communications with your attorney is particularly important. You should do everything possible to minimize and eliminate security vulnerabilities. How do you tell if your spouse is spying on your phone? Feel paranoid? Don't. Ask every experienced family lawyer, and he or she will tell you phone, email, and social media personal security is critical during this time. Information is power. You are much better off preventing the unwitting sharing of information. Better safe than sorry. How can I keep my husband or wife from spying on my phone? One vulnerability is cloud storage. Data on your iPhone is automatically uploaded to iCloud when connected to power, locked, and on Wi-Fi. Data on your Android smartphone is automatically uploaded to Google Cloud or some other cloud service. To prevent automatic uploading, change your account and device settings. Start by opening your Settings app. Click Apple ID, iCloud, Manage Storage, Backups. Next, click on the file for your phone. Then, turn off data you choose to no longer backup. You should also delete backup, removing any data that was automatically saved. Smartphone spy hacks you can do right now. Here are 10 ways your spouse could spy on you using your iPhone. 1. Two-factor authentication. Your spouse could spy on your text messages if you don't have two-factor authentication. Your username and password gets you into your iPhone slash iCloud account. Two-factor authentication adds a verification step before any attempt to access is allowed. A variable code is sent to the iPhone to verify it's really you. For security, enable two-factor authentication and change all of your passwords to those your spouse can't guess. Go to Settings app. Click Apple ID. Click Password and Security. Turn on two-factor authentication. You may also in the Settings app go to Face ID and Passcodes to create alternative passwords or simply reset your password that someone else cannot guess. 2. Using iCloud to spy on spouse. Your spouse could spy on you through a shared iCloud account. Sharing an iCloud account with your spouse surrenders access to about everything on your iPhone. Your location, photographs, contacts, text messages, everything. How do I separate my iPhone from my spouse's? Set up a new iCloud account for yourself and never share it with your spouse. Get a new phone, maybe a secret phone, with a new plan registered in your name only. Stop using the phone and plan you share with your spouse as soon as possible. 3. How to tell if my spouse is tracking my iPhone. Your spouse could spy on you with Find My iPhone. Find My iPhone is an iCloud tracking device. This app lets iCloud track a lost device from the internet so you can find it. Find My iPhone could be used to track your location whenever the device is with you. You won't even know you're being tracked. For security, disable this app from the privacy settings on your iPhone. Go to Settings app, click Apple ID, go to Find My iPhone, disable or delete the app from your phone. 4. Can someone read your text messages through iCloud? Your spouse could use iMessage to spy on you. 
you may have synchronized your Mac or iPad with iMessage and your email account, but doing so can leave you vulnerable to stalking. Someone who downloads this messaging app can obtain your emails. Your messages could be viewed on a remote device without your knowledge, let alone your permission. iMessage with message forwarding could be used to intercept your messages. By synchronizing a Mac or iPad with iMessage and your email account, you make yourself vulnerable to spying. Can my husband see my iMessages? Remember, iMessage lets you receive text messages from any email address that is registered with your Apple ID. Your spouse's iPhone could very well be one of those devices. However, if you and your spouse share the account, he or she could enable iMessage just as easily as you disable it. Those emails could be read on a remote device without your knowledge or permission. For security, Disable iMessage on your iCloud account or iPhone. You can disable your iMessage by going to Settings, click Apple ID, iCloud, Messages. From there, you should be able to disable from other devices. Be sure to follow up and disable from all other connected devices that are linked to your phone. Now, a shared account is problematic because your spouse could simply enable it again. Best to secure all your communications, including emails, by establishing your own personal account. And keep it secret. 5. Is my phone being monitored? Your spouse could use Find My Friends to spy on you. Combining the Find My Friends app with the Notify Me feature on your iPhone could send notices to your spouse whenever you enter or exit a certain place, a bank, attorney's office, or safe house. Can I track my partner's iPhone? According to Apple support, to use Find My Friends, both parties need to have the Find My Friends app on their iOS devices. An invitation must be sent and accepted, but once authorized, the friend has unfettered stalking privileges 24-7. You or your spouse may have already set up Find My Friends for each other. Geofencing could alert your spouse when you enter a defined geographic area and pinpoint your precise location. This combination is particularly dangerous if there's domestic violence. For security, turn off the Share My Location setting on your iPhone. Go to Settings app. Click Apple ID. Click Find My. Disable Share My Location. 6. Your spouse could use your iPhone's camera to photo stream automatically to iCloud. Every photo you take is automatically uploaded to My Photo Stream when your camera is on and connects to Wi Fi. The new photo automatically, instantly streams to every device shared on your iCloud account, including your spouse's. Any photo or video that is deleted will be permanently removed in 30 days from the iCloud account. Photos contain visual location markers like street signs and storefronts. But it's not just the picture. GPS coordinates or geotags are embedded in every photo. When the camera is on, the location data may be available on the web. You don't even have to post to social media. For security, Disable location services for your camera. Go to Settings, Privacy, Location Services, Camera. Choose Never or your preferred setting for your phone and other Apple devices. 7. How to spy on an iPhone and prevent it. Reading your iPhone SIM card. Your spouse could spy on you by reading your iPhone SIM card. The Security Information Card, or SIM card, stores memory on a smartphone. This is separate from the iPhone's memory card. The SIM card identifies a specific user on a specific network, such as AT&T or Verizon. It may be illegal under Tennessee law and federal law to remove the SIM card from someone else's device to spy with a SIM card reader without that person's knowledge or consent. 8. Cheaters can
can get caught with this clever iPhone setting. GPS Your spouse could use your iPhone GPS to track your every move. Your mobile device acts as a beacon. GPS, or Global Positioning System on your smartphone, is a tracking device that's always running. For security, disable GPS on your device. Go to Open Settings app, Privacy, Share My Location. From here, you may disable Share My Location and the location services that are being used by other apps on your phone. 9. Your spouse could access everything on your iPhone. If your spouse has possession of your iPhone, even deleted files may still be accessed, viewed, and downloaded onto another machine. Keep in mind, iCloud does not permanently remove records from storage until 30 days. For security, permanently wipe files from your device. Restoring a device to factory settings removes everything but the factory firmware on your iPhone. 10. How do I know if my husband or wife is spying on me? Your spouse could add spyware to your iPhone to stalk you. By jailbreaking your iPhone and installing spyware on it, your spouse could track your every move, call, photo, and text. MSpy is an example of one of the apps that could be used to track your phone or device and is undetectable. For security, keep your smartphone with you at all times. To add another level of security, consider using a recovery key. By creating a recovery key, the only way to reset your password is by using another device already signed in with your Apple ID or by entering your recovery key. Go to Apple ID, Password and Security, Recovery Key. Implement all of the security measures discussed here. Don't make it easy for your spouse or your spouse's ally to spy on you. That includes children. Password Security Tips. It is far too easy for others to guess passwords and gain access to information that you wish to remain private. Here are four very basic password security tips. 1. Use a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols that have no meaning. 2. Never use names, birth dates, pet names, etc. 3. Never tape passwords or write them down in a location that is discoverable. And 4. Never let Apple devices or Windows memorize your passwords. Take password security very seriously. This video was produced in 2021. Expect iPhone technology to evolve over time. As time passes, you will need to update your knowledge as well. We hope the concepts you learn here will help. To learn more, visit memphisdivorce.com Tennessee's most comprehensive free online family law legal resource. MemphisDivorce.com answers hundreds of frequently asked questions on divorce, alimony, property division, custody, and more, with videos and hosts our Tennessee Family Law blog. Check out Miles Mason's author page on Amazon.com. He is the author of three books, including the Tennessee Divorce Clients Handbook, now available on audiobook and Kindle. Discover all you can learn with Miles Mason Family Law.